Hey everybody. I guess we could say this is a case of curiosity killed the cat. Um, also, that last video I shot of me extracting cells out of a laptop pack wasn't, was not all that great. Um, you couldn't really see what I was doing. It was mostly seeing my hand. And, you know, I'm still posting it because there was a pretty good, you know, it's a pretty decent little video, you know, what the subject is. Um, which brings me to this Rayovac pack. Uh, this is the aftermarket replacement pack for a like an HP DB6000 or you know model like that. Um, I don't know the amount of cycles that are on it. I, I don't actually know the age of this. Um, but what's interesting here is um, I'm curious to see if what's in here matches what the label claims. It claims that it's 4400 milliamp hours, which in a um, 3S2P pack would be 2200 milliamp hour cells. And Rayovac did not make this pack, obviously. Um, that's, that's you know, kind of obvious when it comes to this. It was, um, yeah, replacement at Batteries Plus Storage. Yeah, I wonder where they bought the battery from. Yeah, Batteries Plus. <laughs> now, what's interesting here is this pack feels like it'd be a lot easier to get into. So, it is kind of late now. You kind of want to go to bed, but you know, curiosity killed the cat. Let's go ahead and open this up right quick. And I think this may actually be a case of right quick. Let's see if whoever manufactured this pack is honest. Yeah, this one's giving way a lot easier, I think, so far. Oh, good gosh, yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, that last one was a real pain to get into. And with the help of our famous needle nose pliers, we're going to carefully peel this back and wedge my screwdriver in there. And always be careful where you put your screwdriver. Um, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to see if we can encourage this shell to sort of give way. Oh yeah, this one's built a whole, whole, whole lot cheaper. I mean the the um. The casing is nowhere near as tough as the last one. Let's go ahead and peel this back and see if we can see in there. And uh, nope. Sometimes when you peel this label back, you'll actually be able to see in, inside of the pack. And it'll also give you an easy access point, so to say. My guess is positive is up here. I think the cell is running this direction. The polarity. I'm not exactly certain yet, but we'll see. I was wrong. It's backwards. Ah, what kind of batteries we have in here? I done that with just my hands. Popped it right open. Huh? Where does Molly cells? I can't quite tell. They have that interesting color to them. Okay, so polarity is this way. It varies from pack to pack, I think. Oh, wow. No, they're not monocell. Don't think yet. No. Interesting color though. That's the funny thing about 18650 batteries is they're like all different colors of the rainbow. I kid you not. I'll also be curious to see, you know, how legitimate these are. 
because I'm sure this being bought at Batteries Plus, whoever bought this paid a pretty penny for it. This wasn't one of those probably 1999 specials on Amazon or eBay. These sales are probably made in China. I would not be surprised. Just carefully get our needle nose pliers in there and pull upward on the plastic. Again, we're pretty close to a um, to a um, word sales meetup. You have a balance connection going in. So you have to be mindful of that. at the end. Finally! <laughs> yeah, finally guys. It was real easy at first, but then it got to where it wanted to fight me near the end. Blasted thing. All right. Let's take the whole thing out on this one. Yeah, I have to look up these cells and see who made them. And look, <laughs> oh, just like the um, last ones I harvested, they have five vent holes in them. Safe to say I'm going to be adding a crap ton of um, generics to my collection. I just hope these are actually 2200 milliamp hours. But we're about, you know, one of my ideas here was, you know, Curiosity killed the cat. I want to see if the um, <laughs> if the battery pack with a um, with a quote unquote well trusted name brand on it um, was legit or not, or were they a bunch of liars? You know, I was curious to see were they true or were they or were they telling a lie here? So the um, the cell construction here is pretty typical. Now I was looking at I, was, I took a glance at the um, circuit board and it had the markings HP DV two thousand on it, which I think the DV six thousand took the same battery. This wasn't a DV six thousand, if I remember correctly. But it was dated like 2007, so I don't know if that's correct. Because I know the DB6000 came out in like 2007. You know, 2006, 2007, that time. Um, so it's uncertain if that's just the, um, the date of, re of the revision of the uh, circuit board or if it's the um, age of the batteries. You know, like if they, they printed that on there around the time that little circuit board was manufactured. Okay, I'm gonna rip a little more of this freaking tape off of here and we'll go ahead and see how our pack is doing after being stored in this 
you know, being stored all this time. This pack has not been had a charge put on it in a long time. So these batteries may be batteries might be dead. But we'll see. Let's see what we have here. First we'll do the pack voltage. Not sure how well you're able to see that. Yeah, sorta. Of. Yeah, it, won't be, it looks like I may have gotten some of this off camera again. Can't ever win, seems like. This won't be, this will not stay still for nothing. Else. There. Pack voltages. Hang on. Meter likes to misbehave. Are they dead? Are they completely dead? Well, guys, I think that was a bust. Hang on. Let's measure the rest of them. Well, so much for that. Our whole pack measures 1.19 volts yep there's no reviving these guys this you know word of caution you know, if your batteries measure this slow take them and have them recycled no ifs ands or buts this packs toast so I'm not going to really even bother I don't think I'm going to bother to separate them. Actually, I, I might go and separate them. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and separate them. Um, I'll separate the pairs. There's no sense in going any further with it. Yeah, and guess where I'll take these to get them recycled. Oh, yeah. Huh, Batteries Plus? <laughs> There's a Batteries Plus right up here in Huntersville. Yeah, this, this, these are big time toast. Which kind of shows you you know, potentially the quality or poor quality of cells like this. Yeah. Um, now, you know, lithium ion cells, they have very low self discharge. And, you, for example, with the Samsung batteries in that HP pack, they hadn't been on to charge in years. And, they, and most of them still had something in them. Um, or for example, that um, that Dell pack with the Panasonic batteries, and you know the the these blue Panasonics that were heavily um, over discharged when I extracted them, um, which I am going to be recycling because they're not holding near anywhere near the rate capacity. Um, you know that pack had been sitting for a long time, but they had they they had they all the cells had at least one and a half volts, um, and two of them had over two volts and something on them. But this pack here, it's it's toast. It is this toast. Yep. Let's see. I'll I'll measure them again, just to confirm. Oh yeah. Zero point four. Zero point two. And last but not least, 0 0.5. Well, there you have it. Um, I will go ahead and look up these cells because, you know, one more question we want to have answered in this video is what's their capacity? Yeah, what's their capacity? 
So I'll go and see if I can look up any information on these and get back with you here shortly. Okay, everybody, I looked up these sales, and apparently the brand name or the company is the um, BAK or BAK, or I guess you want to say. <laughs> um, they are actually 2200 milliamp hours. Some sources said 2250. So, at least the OEM that Rayovac decided to source from was honest. Unlike that last pack that I extract, you know, extracted the cells out of, um, those were actually 2200 milliamp hour cells. So, two pair them together, you, we will actually get 4400. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got one less pack wasting space in here, and you know, got more cells to recycle since these are bad. Though, the, you know, one question I have is how much did whoever, you know, bought this, how much they paid for this thing? I really do wonder. Because, you know, if they paid $60, I mean, that could have that could have easily got you probably a replacement HP branded battery with quality LG Chem cells or Samsung cells and, you know, what those packs generally had. You know, I extracted a um, HP pack for a DB6000 and I netted six of these. Um, two, um, well I tried to charge them, they got hot and one over time just, you know, lost its capacity. So I have three more, you know, I have three more of these and they all are working very well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's Bike Geek MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.